It says I'm a Muslim <coughs> and confused about the Israeli-Palestine Palestinian problem. Please explain the correct Islamic stance. What should be done for the Palestinians and done to the current Israelis? Well, one of the uh, things that seem to have affected a lot of people because of the extensive and intensive Zionist propaganda for decades, that Jews were the original inhabitants of Palestine and they're simply recovering the land of their ancestors and as such, uh, Muslims and possibly Christians are just invaders. They're just recovering the biblical land promised to them. This is false on theological and historical basis in addition to international law. It is false theologically because even a Christian, rab uh, a Jewish rabbi like Rabbi Ermel Elmer Berger in a book, booklet of his shows that when the Bible even speaks about the land promised to the descendants of Abraham, he admits that Muslims also are descendants of Abraham. It's not only the Jews, number one. <coughs> it is unsound historically because when the Israelites, as the Quran described, went after persecution in Egypt led by Moses, they did not enter a land that was empty. They were the Canaanites living there. When Christianity came, some of the same Canaanites became Christians. When Islam came, some of the descendants of those Canaanites became Muslim. There was no invasion as such. In other words, they're not an, an implanted body. There are people who existed there and lived before Jews set foot in Palestine. And these happen to be now Muslims or Christians. So historically, it is not sound. Again, in terms of international law, you get a situation where terrorism, real terrorism, that was the initial introduction of terrorism in the Middle East. When Palestinians were terrorized and massacred, and there are numerous massacres, the famous Deir Yassin, when Begin, the former prime minister of Israel, was a party to that, entering a village, a Muslim village, gathering at dawn time, very early morning, all men, women, and children, 248, as reported by a neutral observer from the Red Cross, and mowing them down. And this is only one example of that terror that was inflicted on them to drive them away from the land and declare a state in the land that doesn't belong to them. So on all uh, perspectives, a great deal of injustice has been done to the Palestinian people and the so-called peace process or peace agreement did not really provide the full rights or even close to reasonable rights to the Palestinians. It excluded those who were driven away in 1948, in 1956, in 1967. And these are the bulk of Palestinians. By what right would somebody who was born in Russia as a Jew all his life have greater claim in the land that belongs to a Palestinian who is driven away and now the peace process so-called does not allow him to return to the land of his ancestors or to recover his property? What kind of justice and what kind of international law? And why should international law be inter interpreted and applied in such unfair and partial way? Why should the response be to the occupation of Kuwait, which was wrong? That overwhelming power and the massacres goes on in Bosnia for three and a half years without moving until it became so obvious that something was done grudgingly at the end. This is the, the issue that is Palestine is one issue. There is a European Palestine, Bosnia, similar with a great deal of similarity. There is a similar Palestine in India and the persecution that's taking place in Kashmir, in Chechnya, in other places. But it looks like Muslim blood doesn't have any value into it anywhere.